okay so in this problem we given hexagonal pyramid base 30 mm axis is t resting with its base on hp with two base edges parallel to vp so we have to place it with a parallel uh, to vp plane we have to place it it is cut by a section plane perpendicular to vp inclined at 45 degree to hp intersecting the axis at a point 20 mm above the base okay from the base we have to consider at 20 mm on the axis draw the front weave sectional top weave and true shape of the section first i'm going to construct a hexagonal pyramid by placing it it parallel okay so here i'm going to construct AP, HP. So it has to be parallel. So dimension 30. Parallel means uh, like this. Okay. So the angle we consider, we construct using angle method. So it is 60 degree. Here the external angle, so we should consider 60 degree. Now drawing an angle line. So here the length we should consider 30. Same way. Here also we should consider 30. Again angle line 60. The length again 30 mm. the same way here also 60 okay so we have done with the hexagon a B C D E F. I'll show the dimension here. Okay, you can see here like this. So we have done with the hexagon. So since it is a pyramid, so we should draw the perpendicular bisectors. one and here the axis length uh, here 60 mm given in the question these six boxes we have to draw an axis A dash, F dash, O one dash, C dash, A dash, this is D dash, this is O dash. Okay, now uh, you see the question here. It is cut by a section plane perpendicular to VP, inclined at 45 degree to HP, intersecting the axis at a point 20 mm above the base. 20 mm above the base means here on the axis, we mark here. This is what your point and we should consider an angle of 45 degree okay we have cut it an angle and here angle will show it is 45 degree okay so it is done now we can mark the cut points this is one this is 
first is cutting in between here and the second cutting point getting here okay and the third cutting point we are getting here and the fourth cutting point in here okay, again the fifth point is this and sixth point is this and seventh point is this okay now we join all these points to construct the sectional top view is done now we hatch it okay so we have done with the sectional top view okay now we have to draw the true shape of the section draw one parallel line here x1 now we have to mark for uh, 90 degree points from these uh, cut points so this is first point second point this is the third this is the fourth okay so now I have to measure I'll extend a little bit this one okay in order to get the exact points okay so now we'll take a compass and measure the distances so from here to here it is one and seven also there on the same line and we measure Point number two and point number six. And then point number three and point number five. And finally, we have point number. Four. Okay, so now we have cutted all the points. Now we should mention the names. One, this is seven. This is two. This is six. This is three. This is five. This is four. Okay, now we join all these uh, points to show the true shape of the section. it okay this is true shape of the section okay so this completes the problem